Hey, how's the movie? Now I lost all my followers on Instagram. Oh my god. I'm getting dope. And everywhere I go, I'm in my take a picture post. I make that happen. Keep doing what I'm doing now, times 10. Full Effect Radio, I am Joey Joe, Joe Zilla. I'm here with Rob G. Came down, showed love to the studio today, so we're gonna give him a quick interview. Appreciate you. So, Rob G, tell us about your latest singles. Um, latest joints I just put out, um, the last one with two was um, How I Feel slash Beyond, and then after that, well, before that, was uh, No Hook. Where it was like pretty, you know, a lot of, lot of metaphors, a lot of punchlines, you know, try to bring that back just a little bit. So, those are the last two joints. Okay. Um, what are some of your inspirations for your music? What really you like to focus on and get your passion on? Uh, inspirations, man, my nieces and nephews. My nieces and nephews and women. Women? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> women, so. You always got to make as long as the women happy. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, man. So, I'm, I'm, I'm on, that's always my, it runs through my mind, especially my nieces and nephews. So, okay. Good. Now, how long have you been rapping? Like, how long have you really been into music? Y'all, let's say what? Over 14 years. Ooh. When did you start? What age? Started about seven. So I started about seven years old. I started really taking this series about 13. And you know, I was battling. I was young. I was out there. I was I was everywhere across the city battling. So it was just a it was just a, a fun thing for me. A lot of competition. So I couldn't let somebody be better than me. You know, I mean, I always gave them the respect, but I just couldn't let you be better. Cause that's just you know my mentality. All right. Uh, what artists? would you say really made you want to get into rapping or who was it that influenced you to really do what you're doing? Mm, uh, Nas, of course, Jay Electronica, Rakim. Um, I could have said this during the radio interview, but when I was young, my, uh, my daddy gave me a um, Easy Easy. Oh, Easy, uh, Easy Does It. So that kind of brings, you know, a lot of aggression out of the song, because that's what, you know, like the first one, first, one of the first albums I was brought up to. Um, another one, Busta Rhymes. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just you know, different styles from everywhere, so. It's a few. All right, so I asked you who's your inspiration, so mm-hmm. tell me who is your top five rappers. Top five, Jay Electronica, Nas. <laughs> um, I want to say uh, Isaiah Rashad, Mac Miller, and Rock Kim. So tell us about your track. You were going at who? Rocky Dub, B Wills, Miko. Like, tell it. Give us some of the inside scoop on that. <laughs> um, really, it was just all out of love, man. But they they took it and you know to another angle, got in their feelings and you know. I mean, but that's that's up to them though. I took it, you know, from a different angle where it's like you know I'm, I don't I don't really like the the shit that y'all making. So I feel like you know if, if people really gonna give to little artists respect, I mean we gotta start making good music instead of you know. Looking for the club hits and and you know the, the, the bullshit. Like I don't I, I don't I don't buy into that. Like I make great music. I feel and I feel like you know in order for Toledo artists to get their respect, you have to start making good music and not be so. You find a lot of you find a lot of artists in a city that, that gets their buzz. I mean not just in the city, but period. They get their buzz off friendships. You know what I'm saying? You find a lot of. Friends to be like, you know, they hyping this music up, and then when you finally hear it, it's not what they're, what you know, what they made it out to be. So it's kind of like I, I don't, I don't respect it, you know. And I feel like they should be making way better music than what they make in art. But I mean, they all, they all have potential. They're just, they just taking their time for some reason. But you know, still got it. it was just something. It's like a wake up call, basically. You know, but they, that's another. <laughs> Uh, let us know about the upcoming projects or what you got coming next. Next project is, um, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be Fuck Your Mixtape. Just it's something that's real bar heavy, something that's real hip hop. So it's kind of like, I'm not trying to make it a thing where it's like a, like the mixtape is going to be like a competition thing for everybody in the city. It's I'm trying to blow it up to the world. Where it's like, let's really get back to how hip hop was. So. You know, if nobody gonna say it, I'd be the one to say it. Fuck your mixtape. Mine's better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is how I do it. So that'll be the next. And then after that, it'll probably be the EP. That'll be um, the rich heart of a broke man. Uh, Tell everybody your Twitter so everybody follow you. Instagram, Twitter, Vine, whatever you got. So, uh, Twitter is uh, underscore underscore. 
Yeah, underscore Rob G or uh, Capital. Um, the Instagram is under, it's a lot of underscores, so be ready. Um, underscore Rob, underscore G, underscore, underscore. So follow me on, you know, both of those and I'll follow back with that. So man, thank you for coming down. We appreciate you. Appreciate you. Make sure everybody listen to your music. And with Full Effect Radio, I'm Joe Zilla. We out of here. I said, uh, I said I'm just trying to be great. I'm trying to make sure moms is financially straight. But you know shit can change. Boy shit happen, but I can't complain. I'm just a man trying to make his way to the top. I said feelings of intuition and women handling business who used to be loyal but now they keeping it pimping. Who think that they worth all of that loyalty and simping. What happened to the women that was bred from Egyptians? It's funny how that shit worked. It's funny how that shit changed. Nigga just talking, but most of that shit lame. Now I'm back with a nose ring, a couple tattoos. If you ain't know now, Rob is that dude. It's a freestyle off the top. If you ain't know it, y'all hear it now. But I feel I'm the closest. I hear rappers. And most of these dudes shitty. I hate niggas claiming that they the best in the city. I see your rap great. And I get that shit a F. I'm the shit most deaf. Niggas talk, but I think that I'ma be the best rapper to the death to the coffin. I hear a lot of niggas talking, but most of these niggas often. I'm the type that rap often. What you mean, though? The dopest rapper that done stepped up on the scene, though. Who wanna freestyle? Just a lyrical beat down. Rappers talk, but I feel most of these rappers sweet now. Did a cypher or two. Couple shows, now I'm back. I hear most of these raps. Most of these dudes whack. They spit, but me, I'm bringing facts. Rap G.